go, let's go, let's go. What's going on, y'all? It's Eat with Patrick Blackwood, and this is what we have here today. We got me a my favorite salad after I come out of the gym, you feel me? Fellas, this is for you, because you guys been asking me about what do I eat, how do I eat, and how I, how I structure myself and have a certain type of discipline to actually live the way how I live, okay? So we're starting off with the meal. We have cucumbers, mushrooms, tomatoes, all the above, you feel me? Um, usually I would add some beans, avocados, obviously my greedy ass, eat all the damn avocados, but nevertheless, we have a great salad here. Trust me, you guys don't wanna miss out what I put into the salad and how I make it so delicious and all. So we don't get on the, we don't get on the road on this show, man. <laughs> Don't listen to me, man. I'm going crazy because this came out the gym, bro. So let's get a show on the road. Amen. Like I said, cucumbers, tomatoes, mushrooms. Mm. Let me tell you this. Y'all are missing out. Mm. Fellas. You've been asking me about what to eat, how to eat. Really, it's based upon you. I'm not no health, fitness, food guru, but I know exactly to put in my body. You get what I mean? So, what are y'all? Listen, you guys been asking me how to be attractive, how to get my face cleared, and everything else. Rule number one. Make sure you eat some tomatoes. There's tomatoes. Of course, you do your man scare routine. But tomatoes, cucumbers, it's good for your skin, by the way. You can look that up by yourself. Go on Google and actually do that. Do your homework because tomatoes, cucumbers have water soluble into them and it actually absorbs into your body and it's good for your skin. Not only not only if it's good to your skin too as well, it's not that feeling. You don't feel no itis and it's, there's no excuse for you guys not to go to the damn gym anyway. Get your ass in the gym, work out, and look attractive. Trust me. If you guys haven't tapped into my Instagram, I am Patrick Blackwood, you'll see for yourself. Like right now, I know I look rough, but look, look at my skin. Look at it, bro. Like, I really take care of myself. I really take care of myself, bro. That's hands down. I don't care what nobody say. You got to know that for yourself. What you want. You got to know what you want. Real talk. Have you noticed? Every time you say, man, I want to lose weight. Man, I want to lose weight. Man, I want to put on some muscles. Man, I want to touch more girls. Or, damn, man, I want to get some more money. You have to change your fucking mindset. Excuse my language, but you got to change your mindset. Trust me, I've been there. I was seeking for validation. I was doing all these things and I was losing myself out of purpose. And let me just tell you, let me get a back end of how I found my purpose. Let me, be, let me be real with y'all. The 
back then, I was living in Miami. And uh, I was always angry with myself. Real talk. Because, obviously, you guys know, I play football. Excuse my, excuse my language. <clears throat> the Frank House sauce went into the wrong pipe. <clears throat> I always wouldn't play football, play in a big league, play in the NFL. That was my dream. That was my aspiration. You feel me? You know, I was always around the, my boys, training, things like that. Eventually, that's still my dogs. They weaned themselves out from playing football. I didn't have the right funds to go to these facilities and actually train and be around these pro athletes until I got myself a real job. Excuse me. Now, when I got myself a real job, you all right, um, <clears throat> I got myself into the facility and I was starting to pursue what I got to do for football. But it's when it, everything started to happen for me with life. When you're not feeling confident and you having your back in your mind, there's a time window of purpose of pursuing your dream in an age. All right. After you reach 25 as an NFL player, they consider you old. And it goes by positions. As a running back, 25 you're old. I play running back. <laughs> All right. So when you reach 25, you're old. And it's now. It's not good. What I'm really trying to tell you guys, if you really want to make a difference, you can't live in this life cycle thinking, well, I want to do this and I want to do that and do the same shit that you always do. Because that's not elevating yourself. That's not being high value because everything else is like, what I'm teaching you guys right now it's me teaching, I'm being a teacher and being a student at the same time. Obviously, I learned this because obviously I'm going through observation, right? And certain changes, you, you start to tweak little stuff that's just going on with your life. And that's being a student because you won't know what's really going on. And what I'm saying to you guys, if you guys don't try, not even try, just make the attempt, because I don't even like the trying word, Make the attempt to actually do it. It doesn't matter how much it, how hard it feels, or first week is it suck as hell. Just do the work. Trust me, your mind, your body will love it because you have to really sit in the mirror and really understand what do you really want. What do you really want? So you guys asking me, damn, how are you so disciplined? I had to align myself. No, real talk. This is not even, a, I can't bullshit you. I had to align myself. Mentally physically and spiritually to be the person that I am now. I'm not here to I'm not here to impress other people and shit like that. I'm not here to do that. I don't give a care I don't care what what people say about me. My ex, I don't care. <laughs> My friends, I don't care. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you only got yourself. You're only gonna go six feet under by yourself. At the end of the day. So if you don't know. 
if you're seeking validation from other people, and which I will tell you, I did that because regardless of when I was chasing my dream and a lot of things wasn't happening, it's because I didn't have my integrity as a man. I didn't follow up with my word as a man. I was always lying. I always had the physical. Uh, another thing too as well, I was chasing so many girls and women all the time. <gasps> So I was losing focus, excuse me. I was losing focus and I was a great athlete, but I could have pushed myself to another level. I didn't take that responsibility. I always pointed fingers and I don't want you guys to do that. You get what I mean? I don't want you guys to point the finger why I'm not, why I'm not healthy, why I'm not strong. Why this person look better than me? Think about it, y'all. Do you have the discipline for that? Can you let go of the cookies? Do I need to have a Big Mac? I'm not saying that you can't have these foods, but I am looking for your best interests. Trust me, guys. I've been in Czech Republic and the food here, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock America. I love America, freedom of opportunity. You get to do whatever the hell you want if you put the work for it, right? But our food, it's not 100%, bro. Even when it's organic, <laughs> I'm telling you, like the blueberries, when I came back from Czech Republic, Kid you not, the blueberry don't even taste like blueberries here. And excuse my language, I know this might sound disgusting to anybody who's watching this. When I was eating blueberries in Czech Republic and I was using the bathroom, my thing was blue. Now, when I eat blueberries here, my thing is not blue. I'm not even kidding, I'm not fronting, I'm just saying. And not only that, you guys are eating so many fast food thinking you're getting the right nutrients even when you're eating Chipotle. Like I said, man, like... <laughs> I like... I like Chipotle. I like those type of things. I like Bole. I like these things. I like... uh, What's that thing called over here? I forgot what another thing called over here, but Willie's Mexican Grill. Oh, I like these things, but you have to have a moderation. Cookies, moderation, especially fellas. Listen, you wonder why your Jimmy don't get hard. You want to know why your Jimmy don't get hard? Let me tell you why Jimmy don't get hard. Why your Glizzy don't get hard? Let me tell you why. Because you eat too much, you're drinking too much alcohol, you're not drinking enough water, and you're not eating healthy. Because if you eat healthy, you have the right portion of salad and fruits, your thing will, real talk, real talk. So think about what I'm saying to you. I'm a wine guy. I love red wine, but I, I drink that with moderation. I don't drink it all the time. Not every day I have one glass. And you know what? One glass is not good. For, one glass is good for you. Sorry about that. One glass is good for you. Why? Because it's good for your heart, actually. So think about that, man. So you got to think about, well, I know you're gonna say, well, you know, that's some, that's some girl shit. Well, obviously, if you don't take care of yourself, then no girl gonna want you. A girl gonna want, no girl don't want no Gucci man belly. Nobody don't want no Rick Ross. Come on now. 
So think about that. Your girl will leave you for Chad and Tyrone. Guarantee you. Keep on messing around like that. All right. Keep on messing around like that. Real talk. So every night, usually I get home. I cleaned up yesterday, by the way. Vacuum and mop. And I'll usually eat late, but when I eat late, I will have me a full bowl of salad before I really eat my dinner. And then my dinner is rice and chicken. Beans, I usually have beans with my salad, but at the end of the day, this is good enough. So <clears throat> I want you guys to understand your purpose. Understand that if you don't take care of yourself, Stop worrying about chasing women. Women post, women are, are supposed to chase you at the end of the day. You're not supposed to chase any woman. Your woman, women will chase you regardless. Give yourself some time to really understand what you want. Have the integrity as a man. Move with purpose and say what you want to do. And be authentic with yourself. Be in your own lane. Be authentic with yourself because the right people will find you. Real talk. Until next time, love.